So Crowder released the third part of the biological men should not compete in women's sports change my mind video. Basically Crowder, they're talking about divisions and uh, keeping men and women separate. They're talking about maybe make a third division. And then he Crowder says a joke about uh, black people, you know, when they first started coming into baseball and football and everything, they just dominated. And um, let's see what this kid has to say in response to that. An intergender division, but not with biological females. You see that as discrimination? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so your solution is to let biological, exactly so you do have a solution, is to let biological <laughs> no, males no. compete with women. I think I could compare your point to mine, where uh, this kid seen in the back segregation. This kid literally said that there should be no discrimination. So men's and women should just play together. A 400 pound guy should just fight a 90 pound woman. Like he, he's actually saying that there should be no discrimination in sports, probably anywhere. When we all know in reality, discriminate, you have to discriminate. You have to be able to tell Oh, that's a six foot five guy playing basketball against a five foot tall woman. Like, it's not fair. You have to do that discrimination. Like, let's say you're attracted to, there's two girls. Uh, one you find more attractive than the other. So according to this kid's logic, discrimination shouldn't, like, we should just not discriminate. So they both are equal. Um, yeah, you have one 500 pound w girl who's lazy. She's a fat, lazy slob. And then you have a beautiful girl that is your preference, whatever you, you know, whatever your preference may be. And you like this one, but so you don't hurt anybody's feelings, you're not going to discriminate. Yeah, but you're going to feel the weight of that girl that you're pretending is equal with the other one on top of you. You know, like, just you could pretend to not discriminate all you want, dude, but reality is going to be reality, and it's going to show what things really are, and you just pretending that they're not what they are is disingenuous, and it's stupid, and everybody knows that the shit is silly, and nobody actually believes it. They just want people to think that they are compassionate, they're virtual signaling, and that's all this shit is, dude. And also, most of these people are hypnotized. I really believe that. I mean, if you take the mainstream media and the professors at schools and the politicians, everybody's constantly saying these uh, talking points, you know, what is a woman, like none of them can define that all of a sudden, like all of a sudden, no, like since the beginning of mankind, everybody could define a woman. Now, within the last few months, what is a woman? Nobody can fucking define it. Okay, so they're either acting like they don't know, pretending basically, or they're under a spell. They're hypnotized. They've been bombarded with so much propaganda and indoctrination from all the professors that, and then it, it trickles down. You see, it comes from, you know, the people in power, the media is just constantly putting this shit into your head. And then it goes from there to the professors, the professors to the college kids, the college kids have kids themselves and they indoctrinate their children. And then most of them grow up to become professors and teachers. And now you can see what that looks like when you put an insane doctrine in these people's minds and bombard them with it for years and years. And this is what you get. You get people who they're essentially just crazy, man. They can't tell what fantasy and make believe between reality. In the what? Segregation. Okay. Like yes. For any colored people in the United States. There's a different baseball league for both. Would you not call that discrimination? Yeah, of course that's discrimination Absolutely. by definition. Yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden when the, uh, the U as I can say this because uh, former Vice President Joe Biden said it, the uh, United Negro League, once they uh, mixed it, guess what? There weren't too many great white baseball players. I believe there still is. There are some, but the point is, uh, it, it's the point is they wanted to so keep them out because we knew that there was some black speed and power, my friend. I feel like that's extremely racist to say. Really? To say yeah, that black absolutely. people are better athletes than white people in yeah. certain sports? I think so, yeah. Really? Have you watched an NBA game? <laughs> I'm not going to say either way. Is it racist to say that the majority of the NBA is black? I'm not going to say either way. I don't is it racist for exactly. me to say that black people are typically better at basketball than the average white person? I have no idea. I don't know the statistics. He just accused Crowder of saying something 
she said extremely racist because Crowder said black people are superior than white people at sports. Th that's literally contrary to racism. He's saying they're superior. And then this kid's like, that's extremely racist. Dude, you are living, like, I want to like this dude. Like, he looks like a smart dude. He looks like he should know some shit. And he, he, that shit comes out of his mouth. It's like, what the hell, dude? You're either pretending or you're under a spell. I guess by definition it's racist, but I don't think that you would find a single black person here who disagrees. I think that's a pretty broad point you're making. And obviously I'm not one to say I'm not a person of color. Well, you just said it's racist, so you did speak on behalf I would call of black it people. Racist, absolutely. To say that black people are they make up to a higher that, percentage of the NBA than white people. No, to say <laughs> that they're <laughs> that's not what he said. In general. Sure. What did you exactly in say? Let me give you a different one. In general, black people, black males, mm -hmm. at the elite level, are faster than white males. I feel like that's a racist statement. Like, I can check any of the land speed records. <laughs> I, I don't know the Look at the top of 10. Course. You're not going to find a Whitaker. You're not going to find saying. an Irish last agree. name. You don't agree, I don't agree with, with the world statement. records. Your statement. My statement that at the elite level, black males tend to run faster times than white males. <laughs> that's not what you said. At the elite level, black males are faster than white males. That's that's not what you originally said. That is what I said. It, in this past point, but earlier, your statement was the characteristics of black people versus any other person. That black people tend to I'm be not, more successful in athletics than white people, yes. I'm not saying the statistics are racist. I'm saying your statement regarding black people is racist. Based on statistics. <laughs> that doesn't matter. And certainly not, inf it's certainly not inferring that they're inferior. I mean, are we not even all, uh, that's maybe what you are for. That, 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 that all the land speed records, that all the 100 meter dash records are held by black people and not white people, that that's racist? That's not what I'm saying. How is I'm that saying suggesting they're inferior? The, state, the statistics aren't racist. Okay. I'm saying your statement was. Okay, so how do I address the statistic that all land speed records... You can just say it all right, you don't have to give characteristics to black people. But that is what I said, you still said it was racist. No, I was referring to your original. Okay, so how do I say... All of the top land speed records on, on two feet mm -hmm. uh, at the elite level are held exclusively by black males. Exactly how you just said it. So that's not racist. Nope. But it's racist it's for me to say that as a general rule, in the elite category, when you're looking at the elite of the elite runners, black males are faster than white males. That's not racist. That's, that's exactly not how you stated it. How did I state it? The earlier statement was you were describing, uh, obviously, <laughs> with a little bit of a racial motif in the background. Uh, black people's characteristics. I don't understand. What do you mean racial motif in the background? Uh, You're trying I'm to say that there's some kind of an undertone that's racist? I'd that say implies? a black person and a white person are people. Right. There don't need to be clarifications on the differences in the two. But I was addressing a specific instance of athletic capability. You were, and then you went off on that little tangent and then came back to it to try to cover it. I never addressed oh, the it, differences between black and white people outside of an athletic context. No, no, you didn't. Context. You said... <laughs> you gave characteristics of black people which I would call racist. Being faster. No, you gave different characteristics. More athletic in general. I won't repeat them. What characteristics did I get? I can't repeat them, sir. <laughs> because they didn't. They were never said. They were said. Well, it the good thing is here we have a, a loop. What did I yeah. say? I don't understand what I'm trying. I can't say. I remember saying lot. black people were more athletic, right? Words. More athletic, faster. I said speed and power, mm -hmm. right? And talking about baseball. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about United Negro League? No, no, no. I, that's obviously a, a term that was used. Okay. Case. So I, I, I can't possibly... I'm saying not in the word itself, but the way you stated it is racist. Okay, so it's not the word, it's the way I stated it that uh, in general the elite black athletes are faster than the elite white athletes. You could say that. Yeah, but you, you believe that's I racist. Agree. Okay, so you believe that's racist. That's fine, we just disagree on that, and I don't, sure. I don't see yeah. that as something that uh, most black people would disagree with. White liberals see everything through the prism of race. That's literally everything they look at is just through the prism of race, skin color, gender, everything. This is the problem with white liberals, dude. They ruin the fucking word racism. They've diluted it until it doesn't mean anything. It's been thrown around so much, and now they changed the definition of it. So now everything is racist, literally everything racism is a horrible thing it's a very bad thing and um 
they have diluted it into it literally when somebody calls you racist you're, you just roll your eyes like ah oh, whatever uh but we can ask some we can find some people sure, yeah. who will certainly I'd love ask to get, I'd give up i think that you're anybody. i think that um i think one thing that i will say is first off i appreciate you sitting down aside from the accusation of racism or saying that the <laughs> statement was made in a way that you believe was racist aside from that i think you've kept it remarkably civil uh but I will say, I don't think this has been very productive. I, I don't believe so either. And, and the I reason think... is because you live, especially on college campus, you are afforded the luxury of not having to offer solutions in the real world. And there aren't many Why places where that's the case. Well, because you, you don't deal with these consequences right now. You're pursuing your education. You're, you're obviously taken aback by something else. Well, I think that's actually a discriminatory thing to say. How do you say it? What about someone who decided not to go to uh, a university or a college, but someone who's creating a business, someone who's learning a trade? Are sure. they not pursuing an education? Touche. No, they are pursuing an education, absolutely. Right. But they don't get the deal simply in the philosophical, right? They have to answer pragmatically, like, wait, hold on a second, there's a bottom line to this profit. Wait, hold on a second, am I doing this job correctly mean. or I'm not? You're afforded the luxury of being able to express ideas without bringing them to their endpoint solution. I and so that's a big purpose to the change my mind idea, is if you're going to sure, change my yeah. mind, right? And, and this is an I'm actual exercise. To change your mind. Well, that's why you sit down. But yeah. in or, I think this is important. Sure. What are you studying? Uh, Cybersecurity engineering. <laughs> Was this thrown or this fall? I think it fell. Oh, okay. I'm used to objects yeah, throwing. I don't know. Um, I think, uh, uh, what are you studying? Sorry. Cybersecurity engineering. Cybersecurity engineering? Yes. Oh, okay. So that's a field where really quickly you're going to find out once you go into the workforce if you're good or you're bad at your job. Mm, yeah, debatably. No, not debatably. You'll be fired. Your ass will be I'm fired. Going to be good. If some, okay, right. If you're good, but I'm saying if you're not good, you'll be fired. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Because it's it either really worked. You either the kept them secure. I, you either kept them secure. Or you didn't. That's not. It's but, not black and white like that. Ones and zeros. As an employer, I can tell you it is pretty black and white. Jobs are performance based. No, absolutely. Right. I understand that. Not so much in, in the, the realm of but higher education. But I'm saying, you know, there's situations that occur. Like maybe a, a boss like that. It wouldn't okay. be up to you. I'm saying there's other options. I didn't say it would be up to me. <laughs> I'm, I mean, as a boss. I think you're doing the word salad thing, which I know is very fun to do in universities and colleges. How do you mean? But it, well, you're saying it wouldn't be up to you. I never said it was up to me. What I was saying is that there's going no, to be I an didn't objective. Mean you. I meant as a boss. You as a boss. Right. Yeah. A boss will determine if your job is yeah. good or bad. If you had a bad day, maybe you fired somebody. That's not up to the person. See what I mean? It's just one example. It's up to the employer. Say again? It's up to the employer through objective parameters set if you're good at your job or not. Whereas that doesn't really apply here, right, uh, I mean, on college. I mean, debatably, there are grading systems. Okay, but if I were a professor, sure. and I was grading you on solutions provided, sure. you'd have to get a 0%. You could be biased. In your, in your, okay, you know I'm sure I could be biased. <laughs> I would argue that you haven't presented any solutions You just because you've said you don't have them. Yeah, I do not. I'm okay. a white male. I but in order to... I'm a white, white male. male. I, I believe it. Oh That's not why God. you don't have any solutions, my friend. Don't, I, hide, behind, I don't, don't hide behind the I'm white male thing. It is. To say that you're a white male, therefore you don't have solutions, you can still present one. No, I'm saying... You have a dog in the fight. <laughs> Enter the arena. Especially if, you, if, especially if you are going to change someone's mind. Especially if you're going to convince someone to your point of view. That's you do need to offer some kind of a quantifiable solution, and that's how the world works. Now, I've done that, and I know you, I don't even necessarily know that you fully agree or disagree. I just know that you don't really know what it is that you think should be done. And I think that that's, I, agree. I think that's honestly There's representative of a lot one. of, well, there is when it harms people in the real world, like Being women. Being overconfident is also a, a source of damage. Yeah, I don't think that saying biological men, biological males compete with biological males, and biological females compete with Again, likewise, uh, I don't think that's a problem with overconfidence. I, I think, think if so, then oh my statement. gosh, doctors and well. epidemiologists and <laughs> physiologists and biologists are cocky as shit. So, uh, but man, I do appreciate you sitting down, Jackson. Yeah, sure. Jackson. Yeah. Jackson. All right. Well, that was that kid. You know, you think you look at him and you're like, oh, he's probably smart, and then he starts talking, and you're like, the kid's insufferable, dude. He has all these opinions about trans and race, and they, that's all he sees shit through is the prism of that. And yet, he has all these opinions about it, and then when he's asked for a solution, he hides behind the whole, oh, well, I'm a white male, I don't have any solutions. But you have, a, you have all these opinions. So it's just, dude, I thought you guys would like that clip. I, I've never, I've seen so many absurd things, and that 
is pretty high up on the list. Anyway, I will uh, catch you guys next time. If you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you are, I appreciate it. And don't forget to like the video. I will catch you guys next time.